Good morning everyone, it's Friday. I wasn't sure what I was going to do for my video today, but I think I thought of something that we all need to just stop and take a look at. And that's the Baltimore riots and the Nepal earthquake. The Baltimore rioting is a response to the death of an individual who questionably died in police custody. The Nepal earthquake was a 7.6 magnitude, I believe. I don't remember, I didn't actually look at the report. That so far has killed, the last I checked, was 5,500 people. 5,500 people. That's a lot of people. That's more than 9-11. It's instances like that that we need to stop and think about where we need to devote our attention. Now, the Baltimore rioting, we know, is a result of the pent-up anger citizens have for Freddie Gray, the guy who questionably died in police custody. Now, I can understand that people want answers as to why this occurred, but what I don't get is why you need to destroy your city to get those answers. I mean, I just can't fathom why people do this kind of stuff. I was thinking this week, what's been worse, Ferguson or Baltimore? Baltimore. And by this point, it seems unanimously that Baltimore has surpassed what Ferguson was. And the other worst part is it takes our mind off the other things that need to be focused on, like Nepal. I mean, a 7.6 magnitude earthquake that kills 5,500 people? That's awful. <laughs> I did hear one piece of good news about Nepal yesterday. They found a four-month-old baby buried in the rubble alive. I was like, that's phenomenal. It's safe for me to say that I'll never understand why rioting like the way people in Baltimore and Ferguson have done. I don't think destroying what you have built shows any kind of strength. If anything, it shows weakness and a lack of respect and trust for those in authority. It's terrible to see what our world has come to, but our generations can take action and change that by doing so many positive things. The easiest thing? Simple. Pray. Pray for Baltimore. Pray for Nepal. Pray for the countries that need help. If you're not religious, then realize what's going on. Familiarize yourself with everything that's going on and try to find the good in all of this bad. I can understand that it's hard to sometimes find the good in a bad situation or even think that good can come out of a bad situation. But the truth of the matter is, good can come from anything. We just need to focus on it. Prayers for Baltimore, prayers for Nepal, and prayers for the world. You'd be surprised with all they can do. I'll see you guys on Monday.